they come blowing by us in a fast boat and they had the audacity to run in between the two ships and give everybody the one finger salute, you know, as they were doing 40 knots. The helicopters lifted off, the, our fast boats went in, they're about to be the most surprised drug runners in the world. The primary goal of Hitron is stopping the flow of cocaine into the United States. Vice Admiral Ray Ryuta. During the standoff of Hitron, I was a rear admiral. I was chief of operations of the U.S. Coast Guard headquarters in Washington, D.C. My role was the overall uh, program manager for, as chief of operations. Uh, when we did the experiments and the training and developed the concept in the mid-80s, we used to send our unarmed helicopters over the horizon in search of drug smugglers. Those of us that had time in Vietnam realized how dangerous that really was. Uh, you never knew whether they were going to pop up with a stinger missile or a machine gun and take one of our unarmed helicopters down. Uh, when they were out of sight, bring down the helo, the big cutter doesn't show up to catch you. Standing up at Hitron, some of the biggest challenges we faced was trying to overcome the reluctance of the Justice Department that we could actually fire on go fast boats and it would be non lethal use of force. Gunners had to be very, very accurate. We leaned on the Marine Corps to help us. We went to Camp Lejeune, I believe it was, where we trained, and we had to bring people from the Justice Department out and show them that we could fire into the ships without hitting the cockpit. The most memorable mission for the pit run for me was, of course, the first one. And everybody was sitting around, well, will this work, will this work? Most of us were convinced it would, but until, the, until you actually see it happen, you don't really know. And it was executed flawlessly. I debriefed the CEO personally of, the, of one of the ships. We knew we had something that was going to make a difference. Uh, the crews were ecstatic. I mean, you could see it in their faces. They went down and visited the ship shortly after the first couple of missions. The air crews were over the moon, the ship's crews were ecstatic. They knew they were able to do something as opposed to just watching and go fast and blow by. The fact that we were able to stand up hit on so quickly with so little bureaucracy speaks volumes to the types of things that we can do. It started out as something just to take down gun smuggling. Now, armed helicopters are a matter of course for this one. It's an accepted practice that, carries, that has carried into, into our missions in Homeland, which is probably one of the biggest changes that happened. To be a part of the initial stand-up of Hitron is, is really satisfying. It took an incredible team to put that together. To see how far it's come since those days makes me feel just 